Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. And this week we have four different stories. The first one is we're going to talk about the Navajo Nation that's using drones to, well, to do good things. We're going to talk about a funny story that happened last week, which was a dog that got rescued by using a drone and... Yeah, a sausage, and that's going to be fun. We'll talk about a osprey that takes down an Evo 2. This happened to one of our students. Send the pictures, and well, that's uh, that's quite incredible. And then lastly, DJI released a new update for the Mavic 3, so we'll talk about what the drone is getting this time and uh, why this is an important update. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week, we're talking about the Navajo Nation using drones for medical delivery. And this is kind of a big deal because, uh, well, we've seen a lot of deliveries and I truly believe that drone deliveries, that de deliver medical supplies is uh, kind of a, an amazing use of drone delivery. Delivering tube socks is one thing, but delivering medical deli uh, medical supplies is something else, especially when it's done with the, uh, the Navajo Nation. So uh, they're calling this program Mission Go and uh, they'll be helping essentially um, delivering supplies to people in need. This includes insulin kits, this includes uh, meals, anti-venom, and any kind of emergency communication devices. Uh, at the moment, there is no words on what kind of aircraft they're going to be using, but it looks like from the demo, they're using a Matrice 300 from DJI, and uh, they're kind of using a, a helicopter-style drone as well to go along with it. Uh, we're not sure what that actually is. So if you want more information, we'll put a link down here, but I think this is a, a great use, like I said of drones to, well, do good in the community. The next thing this week is a kind of a funny one. This happened. Several of you actually sent this link to me. And uh, a dog was rescued by using nothing else but a sausage attached to the end of a drone. And... Um, the drone, this happened in the UK, the drone was, uh, the rescuers were going there to try to get this dog rescued and, and the dog was just staying away from the rescuers. So eventually uh, that dog ended up being stuck in a mud flat and uh, that would have been eventually submerged by a, a tide that was coming. So. Uh, someone else had the idea of basically attaching a sausage at the end of a, a string and uh, and having the drone uh, put that right in front of the, uh, the the face of the dog so that the dog would go uh, forward. Eventually it worked. The, the dog was called Millie. It's a Jack Russell. And uh, they were able to reunite him with the owner. You can see the video playing in the background. I think this is uh, another great uh, Drones for Good. I know last week we talked about some, well... Uh, idiots that were doing things with drones they weren't supposed to. So it's uh, this week we're trying to do something different. All right. Uh, next story this week is uh, directly from one of our students. Uh, they sent this, these pictures to me earlier in the week. And um, this happened with an Osprey as they were flying their Evo 2, Hotel Evo 2. And uh, he told me that he was uh, getting pictures of a cell tower when he realized that there was a, an Osprey nest right here with a, a mom and a dad. And uh, they were protecting their babies. And um, eventually he backed off pretty quickly, but noticed that uh, one of the parents stayed with the kids and then uh, the other parents started circling the drone. And then eventually, as he was trying to get further away, the drone kind of, the, the osprey kind of attacked the drone. Uh, he was happy to say that there was no damage to the bird, uh, but uh, his bird on the other side get pretty damaged. You can see the pictures right here. Uh, he was, like I said, he was very grateful that, uh, that nothing happened to the bird. That was actually a lot of the message that he sent me. So thank you for sending the pictures in and uh, and as you can see try to stay away from these predatory birds they will definitely mess up your drone and uh, he said that there's nothing from this drone can essentially be recovered uh, at this stage okay the last thing this week I want to talk about is the Mavic 3 update. And this is kind of the update that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, when DJI released the Mavic 3 at the uh, around uh, Black Friday last year, they said that there were some things that weren't working, that weren't available, some some features. And they said that this would happen, uh, they would release these features in January. And here we are with this new update. They had done an a intermediate update with some things added. And then this looks like it's kind of that big update that people have been waiting for. Uh, this brings brings quite a few things. I'm not going to mention all of them because some of them were pretty minor, but quick shots, that was a big one, panorama, a burst shooting. Also, it brings a digital zoom in video mode. This is interesting that it wasn't there in the first place. If you own uh, Air 2S or Mini 2, you're familiar with being able to zoom a little bit uh, using digital zoom. 
Well, now you can actually do this. This is a bit different than using the uh, the, the binocular mode, I call it, on here, uh, where you can use the, uh, the zoom lens. This is actually just using the primary lens and zooming all the way to 2x. You can go much further than that. But with that, you can actually do minor zooming, and you can also change some of the settings and keep uh, recording in log, which you can do if you're in the discovery mode. Um, another thing that I've been asking for, which I'm glad is being added right here, which is the color display assist in D-Log. Uh, the D-Log on this drone is extremely flat. Uh, I'm going to compare it to the Inspire 2 D-Log. If you've ever flown the Inspire 2, that thing is extremely flat. So it's very difficult to fly and make sure that your footage is exposed correctly. So they added, uh, it's not a, a lot, you can't really load up a lot, but it looks Looks like it's converting everything back to Rec. 709, so you can have a better idea of what your footage is going to look like. So it's just a toggle on and off. You can get that in the settings. If you turn D-Log on, right underneath it, there is a little toggle here that tells you, um, um, I think it's called Color Display Assist. Uh, they also are supporting uh, RTH Altitude, where you can change uh, set your RTH altitude for what's called advanced RTH. Uh, if you're not familiar with all these terms and if you don't have the drone just yet, we actually just finished recording our uh, Mavic 3 deep dive. It's with the uh, editor at the moment and then we'll be publishing it very soon. Uh, we were we were waiting for this update, quite frankly, to record. I didn't want to shoot this uh, this course several times. So it's it's right around the corner. We'll be uh, letting you know probably next week or the week after when this thing is done, but this is exciting. At the same time, DJI also released a, uh, an update for the RC Pro. So if you bought the, the Cine version or if you bought the, the base version, I don't know what it's called, just the Mavic 3, and you bought the RC Pro uh, separately, then it is now actually compatible with the Air 2S. So uh, that update came in a couple days ago. We've updated it. I haven't had a chance to try it with the Air 2S, but I did try the new update with the Mavic 3, and uh, yeah, everything seems to be right in there. Uh, we've been playing with chasing uh, uh, Ethan on the uh, <laughs> on the one wheel, and uh, this thing actually does really well at chasing people and, and keeping the object uh, in the middle of the frame. So, all right, that's all we have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment because believe it or not, we actually turn the comments on on our videos and, uh, and we love answering the comments with you guys and, and chatting about everything that goes on in the industry. So uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next week.